A bill banning vaccine passports in Michigan is heading to the state Senate. It would prevent a taxpayer funded entities from requiring people to be vaccinated for COVID-19. Now this could include universities like Michigan and Oakland who are requiring students to be vaccinated if they're going to be living on campus. Rod Maloney joins us now live with more on the debate surrounding the bill. Good morning, Rod. Yeah, good morning, Rhonda. To be clear, there is no vaccine passport program uh, contemplated in the state of Michigan. At least that's what the governor's office tells us. But a northern Michigan uh, lawmaker is saying, you know what, we're not willing to take her word on that. We're going to cut this off early. 40% of Michiganders opted out of vaccinations. The question of whether someone's vaccinated is an issue bubbling under the surface, especially when the governor asked those not vaccinated to wear a mask. And the Michigan House decided the concept shouldn't even make it out of the barn. Republican State Representative Sue Allor of Wolverine sponsored House Bill 4667, which would ban vaccine passports or any other system where individual civil rights are diminished by their COVID-19 vaccination status. She said on a floor speech yesterday, the control of one's life based on his or her vaccination status is frightening. It is not something that we as United States citizens should even consider as acceptable. I cannot imagine there ever being a time when a program such as this would be a good idea. The opposition on the Democratic side of the aisle mirrored the governor's office's take that Republicans are wasting time and energy working on bills to address non-existent problems. Democrat State Representative Julie Rogers of Kalamazoo said in another floor speech that instead of worrying about phantom bills that don't exist, this body should be focusing on bringing home all of the federal COVID dollars to Michigan. In the end, the House passed Allora's bill with the help of four Democrats. So now it's off to the Senate. Now, usually when the House passes something, it has to have a waiting period of about three days. So it's not on the Senate agenda today. It's likely to show up uh, sometime next week.